Hello there, hi, and welcome to another episode of Creatives on the Couch. Now, joining us today, we have got an amazing guy, actor, all-round Mr. Entertainment and author, Graham Parrington. Hello there, Ruth. Hello. Hello. All right. How are you? Fine, thank you. Thank you for being with us today and joining yeah, it's us. It's my pleasure. Had a safe journey getting here? A lovely journey. <laughs> Where have you travelled from? Uh, Burnley, over the far side of Burnley, which is only about an, an hour away. It's, mm. it's not that far, not it's the traffic that's the mm. problem, isn't it? Gives you an afternoon out. Well, this is it. Get to spend the afternoon with us, too. Yeah. It can be better. <laughs> yes, yes. So let's, you know, we're, we're going to sort of have a look at your life. Um, open up, find out what makes you tick, who you are. Mm -hmm. You know, the man behind the book and all of that. Obviously. So how, how did it all start? Let's, let's go right the way back to to your passions and things like that? Well, it all was back to school. I mean, I was mainly into football and acting. My dad was a professional footballer. Oh, wow. And my auntie was a writer. Two of my uncles were comedians. Mm. So it's, and my granddad, he played the banjo in the pubs and clubs. And so it's all, it's always been in the family. Yeah. So I was brought up with it, so. So it's been entertainment since so you entertainment. were? Entertainment, but my dad wanted me to be a footballer, which I weren't good enough, you know. Got to semi-professional level, but that's about it. But oh. so, got back into acting, did acting at school, got back into acting when I was 23. Okay. Did a few things, Juliet Bravo and a couple of films in the... Oh, Juliet Bravo, the TV show? Yeah, we're in that. Oh, yeah, well, thug being thrown in a prison. Must have looked the part to get the part. There you go. Yeah, yeah. we'll so, play the thug. Yeah, so... Watch this one, she'll be throwing <laughs> you around in ten minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I've always, always been into it and come out of it. I, you know, I had mortgages and mm. and wives, not the current wife, wives. <laughs> previous wives. <laughs> so can we date this Literally, one? Yes. Wives, that's plural. another show for you. <laughs> 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 we can go wherever you want with this one. It's your episode. Uh, <laughs> so I'm happily married now, though. Oh, happily married now. Oh, David of it, yeah. Yeah, yeah you don't say any more. She's over there. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say it. <laughs> Yeah. So, you know, career-wise and everything like that from, from leaving school, what, what was it that you actually went into? What journey did you go? When I left school, I went into the building trade as apprentice plumber and tried to get into the acting, which was a lot different then. There was no internet, no Google. It was all word of mouth and so-and-so wow. put me onto so-and-so. I had auditions at Turk Bernardo Studios. They wanted me to be in equity. I couldn't get in equity because I didn't have a job. So it was just... It was like that. That catch 22. Bounce, bounce, catch 22, just bouncing off each other. So I stepped in the building trade and gradually brought back into acting. Okay, so when, when did that sort of like start again? When I was about 20, 23, I'd say. Okay. So then I young. started again, bits of, bits of parts mm. and a few films I got that fell through, and, you know, as they do, you mm. know. And I'd say about 23, yeah, started getting more parts and played a boxing trainer in a film called Vroom, which Trisha Penrose were in. Oh, yeah, the, she Trisha, in that she's, she's going to be on the show very soon. on the show, isn't she? Yes. That was about 1986, I think. So I played a boxing trainer in that one. So I started getting bits and bits and bats. Okay. You know, nothing major, but mm. started doing stuff like that. And then I started being interested in writing. Right. So, uh, I got, I got okay. a part in a, a, a crime drama called Prey. I don't even remember that. Written by Chris Lunt, and he's a Lancashire lad. All right, okay. It was quite popular at the time, ITV, I think it was. Okay, and you were in that? I were in that, played a detective in it. Oh, wow, because you were a detective, actually. I get detectives a lot, detectives that. and gangsters. Oh, yeah, yeah. that is yeah. an amazing picture, that. Tell yeah. us about that. That's a film I did about ten years ago that didn't get completed. Oh, some nice... It was 90% done, yeah. and the writer and the director fell out. Oh, it's I put it politely, and mm. the film, and oh. I got finished. But that were a photo shoot. From the gangster film, I played the main gangster in it. it it's yeah. an incredible picture, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. Good but, picture, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, very manly. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that now, you're very manly. <laughs> you're a real man. You're a real man. <laughs> real man. Proper man, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you, you mentioned writing. What kind of things? Now we've got the book here. Yeah. What, apart from the books, we'll get onto that scene. But what do you write? Have you written uh, anything else? But books? Yeah, I brought uh, 25 altogether. Oh, right. Uh, short stories. Yeah. Uh, Children's, st children's stories, horror stories, uh, 
comedy westerns, two comedy westerns. If there's a director out there, Francis Comedy Westerns. Yeah, Ooh, it's yeah. the right place. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, I've wrote a couple of them. Uh, I've wrote lots of stuff. And then Murder by Pencil, which I got published. Yeah. Which is doing well. Yeah, good. It's doing well in America. Oh, is it? Oh, it's that's some, really good. I've had some good reviews from America. Yeah. I've had a director this week who contacted me. He's, uh, he just made a film called The Hitman. Mm -hmm. And that's obviously about The Hitman. Mm -hmm. And he's okay. reading my book at the moment. Ah. So he lives in Florida. So I, yeah, I've had a lot of interest from America, New York, and that's good. A bit all over, but just yeah. interest, nothing. But still, interest is good. It's a start. Interest is isn't better it? than nothing. Of course, yeah. yeah. So tell us a bit about the book. What's it? Well, it's about uh, a hit man from Manchester. Okay. Who has a girlfriend called Carla, mm -hmm. and a businessman in America in Vegas wants him to come over and do a kill for him. Right. So he sends for him, and Mick and a hit man always travels with his girlfriend Carla. Who's a bit crazy, to say the least. <laughs> He's crazy, but she's a little bit crazy. crazy. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> and it's about the adventures and what they get up to. There's loads of twists in it. And, uh, there's a lot of humour in it. A bit of sex. A bit of everything mm -hmm, in it. Mm -hmm. So it's tried to throw everything into it. There's a big twist at the end. Mm -hmm. So in Carl, I'm not giving anything away, yeah. becomes one of the main characters. Oh, wow. It would be book. good as a film, wouldn't Sounds it? Sounds like it could be. Yeah, yeah, we always like stuff like mm -hmm. that, don't we? So um, where, where can people get hold of this? Yeah. On Amazon, it's available oh. on Amazon. Okay. Yeah, it's had some good reviews. If you mm -hmm. want to look it up, it's murder by pencil and Amazon, you know, Google it. Yeah. It'll all come up and it's had some good reviews, so it's... That's a good title. Where did that come from, murder by pencil? I'm not really sure. I was just coming up with titles. A lot of people think it's going to be stabbed with a pencil, but it's nothing like that. <laughs> like I can tell you why it's, what it's called murder by pencil if you want. It's because the pencil can be erased and rubbed out. Ah, right. Like a hit. Yeah, yeah. Can be put oh, away. Very Agatha Christie. Very Agatha Christie. I like that, yeah. yeah. Have you been a fan of hers? Yeah, yeah. Agatha Christie, oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, brilliant. I love Ag Agatha Christie films and books. Mm. So, so it, it obviously, you know, this has got like the murder mystery side of things yeah. to it as well. Yeah. Mm. So it's got a mystery to it, it's got a, a loads of twists in the tale. Okay. There's loads of ins and outs of it going on and on. I'm keeping one of these, I'm going to be reading this tonight. I know, yeah, same, <laughs> yeah. me too. So, do you think, obviously you've got the gangster picture there, you've got, is this the kind of genre that you like, like gangster, hitmen, murder type stuff, or uh, thriller things, or, you know, do you like yes, horror, do you like Yes comedy? and no, I like a lot of comedy. Okay. And I love the humour, like two of my uncles were comedians on stage, yeah. so I think we have a funny bonnet family. <laughs> and I love the, the comedy side of things, I love, I mean, I love Peter Sellers when I was a kid. Legend. Thought they were excellent. One of the best, best actors we've ever produced, in my opinion. Yeah, no, I Peter totally Sellers. Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant, talented. So I love the humour. I love comedy. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. no. We're lucky enough to appear in Porridge, which is... Oh, wow. Oh, you I, was? Yeah. What? Are you no. being served? <laughs> what? He said that casually. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't just drop that into a conversation <laughs> halfway, halfway when we're talking about Agatha Christie. Yeah. <laughs> what... Okay. TV series, Porridge. Yep. Yes. Ronnie Barker, one of the greatest well, that's not ever the, not been. Not the Ronnie Barker one, the remake. Okay. But still excellent. I was in all seven episodes. Brilliant. Playing a prison guard. So. Yeah. And then are you being served? What? Are you being served? There was a deer stalker customer. Was it the original or the new one with Sherry Houston? The new one with Sherry Houston. Oh, my wow. darling friend. Yeah. You know that. She's yeah. one of my best yeah. friends. I was buying a deer stalker and was told to keep my flaps down. <laughs> <laughs> Keep all your keep your flaps down because it's windy outside. That was a punchline. <laughs> but what, I mean, what a cast to bring. I mean, Roy Barrowclough and yeah, everything Roy like Barrowclough. that. Okay, so it was so yeah. Um, Sherry Hewson, uh, yeah. Roy Barrowclough, um, uh, Matthew Horn was in it. Yeah, it John Chalice, legend, yeah. much missed. They were great, the great guy, John. So what was it, what was that like? Because it was filmed in front of a live studio audience, yeah. wasn't it? Media City, Media City Media here City. in Manchester. Yeah. So to walk onto Grace Brothers set with the music what was that like going up fantastic yeah fantastic. like an iconic theme tune isn't it mm. yeah it was absolutely fantastic it's it privilege to be on it it was one of my favorite programs got the original obviously with molly sugden and yeah. um but sherry Wendy Richard, were brilliant sherry is mrs they all were they were in it they're all fantastic i think it was because it was so because it was like a one-off wasn't it that the one-off rerun yeah. to, yeah. to 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 visit nostalgia comedy and I think they all, I know when Sherry and I speak about things, I think she held Mrs. Slocum 
and what Molly created so close to her heart that she wanted to create perfection. Yeah. And I think she absolutely smashed it. Oh, she smashed it, yeah, definitely. It was fantastic. I think they did five remakes. They did Step to and Son. Yeah. Uh, Are You Being Served, Porridge, uh, Mrs. Bouquet, is it they call it? Oh, yeah. Keeping Up Appearances. Keeping Up Appearances. Mm. I can't th think of the fifth one. And the one that got the most views, they're all pilots. Yeah. I'll read two of them. The one that got the most views, you've got many to a series. Right. Well, Porridge that got the most views. Right, okay. So we did a seven, right. seven episode. It, it was really nice. Porridge. I mean, for, for, for me growing up, it was always Heidi High. Yeah. You know, yeah. I loved Heidi High. Yeah. You know, it, it was it was through Paul Shane that I got into the business anyway. Oh, wow, okay. Um, you know, he, he lived just around the corner from me, and I used to do all the working men's clubs with him. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know... The talent, weren't they? Just, what a lovely, mm -hmm. lovely Iconic guy. Iconic programmes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm and so lucky to have been in two of them. Mm -hmm. So, oh, absolutely! I mean, yeah. like goodness. I say, I love my humour. I love, I love, love comedy. You've got a really dry humour, though, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. was getting told off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't laugh when I crack a joke. I don't laugh, and it's it doesn't, sometimes doesn't go down well. <laughs> it don't go my wife anyway. <laughs> Which one? No <laughs> 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 <Good> one. <laughs> so, family life. Um, have you, have you got any children? Anything no, like no children. Okay. I don't know how, but I've no children. Okay. Not that you know of. Not that I know of. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> there's there's going to be DNA people going all over the place. I look like that actor. <laughs> Is <he> my dad? <laughs> no, but not, 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 not that I know of. So, right. Anyway, no, I haven't. I've no children. Okay. And um, what's, what's sort of coming up next for you? What's... What's next in? Well, I'm doing uh, Killing Rainbow with Chris Cutler this Wednesday. Film, I'm filming that. Oh, right, okay. I've, I've kind of heard a little bit about yeah, that. Yeah, it's a gang. I'm playing a gangster again. Again? again. That just seems to be your type I'm of role. I'm playing a nasty then. gangster that gets killed off. Suit you, oh, you. So I'm killed off this Wednesday. But oh. the film's virtually finished filming now. Right, okay. And then I have another one next Saturday. Mister, not Mystique. Uh, I forgot my name. But anyway. You've got that many. <laughs> starting next Saturday. Right, okay. So that's with Dave Bannister, so... Oh, that'd be nice. Looking forward to that one. Yeah. So you've been kept busy then, which is yeah, good. Yeah, I've been mm. busy. I've been busy for the last few years now. Good, good. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of different stuff, you know, different... You know, I tend to get detective and gangsters. Yeah. I do get that. I played a bank manager in playing... It's Graham Parrington. Hello there. So, just before the the break, um, we we tentatively mentioned Boarhog, which, as um, our viewers know... Mm -hmm. I take the lead in, playing yes. a little bit of a psycho, mm -hmm. and um, you played opposite me. I did. I played the bank manager. You did? Married to Nicky again. Yeah. I tend to get married to Nicky a lot. You do get married to Nicky yeah. quite, quite regularly, don't you? a couple you? of films together where we paired us off. <laughs> we'll fuck a match, not tell Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Next. No spoiler alerts, but you killed me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's a, a spoiler alert. Yes, it was... It was good fun, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good fun to make, wasn't it? Mm. Brilliant. Craig Quinn were brilliant. Hard work, though. Yeah, oh, hard work. Well, it is filming, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's very it drains you, doesn't it? It's mm -hmm. not long the hours. physical work, it's the long hours and yeah, I think people, tuned in. And people sort of think, oh, yeah, you're making a film and it's, you know, it's, I mean, you know that you, oh. were, you were in Mission Impossible with Tom Cruise. Yeah. Mm. A little snippet yeah. of it. You're still in it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, it. but yeah. it's a lot of waiting around. A lot of long hours, and um, I mean, one night it was it was so cold. One night, then when we were filming, and I mean, it was biting cold mm. that um, all the lighting shut itself off. Oh, that wow. the, the the elements in the lights mm. froze, froze. Yeah. and uh, they'd had me in a lake, hadn't they? In that point, yeah. threw me in a lake, yeah. and uh, as they brought me, if you remember, as they dragged me out of the lake, it was that cold that the the outfit that I'd got on actually froze. Oh wow! Yeah, mm -hmm. my jumper it actually froze, but we it was it was a good it was good fun it was good yeah. fun to make, mm. but tiring very but filming is tiring it is it yeah. is it's, it's it's draining yeah but so what can we tell a little fun. bit about your character then so yeah bank manager a little bit dodgy dodgy bank manager I can yeah. see that yeah can you see that in I can see that got that first yeah right yeah. it's that look I have. <laughs> Dodgy bank manager, gangster. Yeah. yeah. They're all the same. Yeah. Bit more. Yeah. yeah. They're all similar. <laughs> <laughs> They're all similar people. Yeah. So what about soaps and things like that? Would you would you 
delve into the world of um, soap opera, would that be anything on your radar? I've done them in the past, but I do like my films, I do like to do films, different types of films. Mm. Okay. You know, I've done Emmerdale and Corrie and Holly Hawks and played a dingle in Emmerdale. Oh yeah, of course you did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've done it, been there, done it. Yeah. But I do like my films, short films, independent films, different characters, different types of films, I do like that. Yeah, what about yeah. directing? Would you direct your own, would you think? Well, we've just would been you, elevated. This one? Yeah, we've just been elevated upstairs, actually. Mm. Yeah. I've wrote a gangster film, another gangster film, but it's a short film. I've wrote a comedy western, and you'd be brilliant at playing the part in it. Done. Deal. Yeah. Sorted. It's called The Man With No Shame. Oh, yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyone who wears ties like I do has <laughs> definitely got no shame. It's about a cowboy that rides into town, think Clint Eastwood, all mean, mm. and then when he gets to the saloon, he checks in, and there's a drag act for the night, and he turns into a drag act. Yeah. The mean and moody to the drag act. You want me in a frock? And then... Can be done. And then, day after, back to the mean and moody and ride right to town. Oh, I like that. That's, short that's good. Yeah. yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. That does sound good. Did you write... Have you written one... A, a prison... Where, a prison one? With like... Like a Joker character? Yeah, Asylum. That's what we spoke about, wasn't it? We spoke it? Yeah. about that one, yeah. Yeah, so so just just rerun of So what's this one that you, you, you've got in the main? The asylum, about a killer. He gets sent down to an asylum. Cut the story short, he's having meetings with his psychiatrist every week. And as Christmas approaches, he notices they're having a fancy dress party. And the uh, psychiatrist is going as the Joker. They're having it at work, so he decides to kill the psychiatrist. The guard dresses as the Joker. And he escapes from the asylum, dressed as a joker. You know this is going to go out to prisons all over the place. <laughs> they're all going to be like, ooh, That's let's have a Christmas you're party. Gonna, you're going to be lame a joker, weren't you? Yes, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Get it off I'll, the ground, yeah. Yeah, I'll come on board for that one. I'll, we'll do anything, won't we? Me anything. and you, absolutely, absolutely. anything. Oh, yeah, this one's great. I have a few lined up with loads of stories. And oh, we'll be here all night and talking prisons about. Prisons and asylums and comedies. And I'd love to play a female gangster. Would you? I would. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I would actually. I could see you as a female yeah. gangster. Yeah. Well, you lot are out there watching as well, so what do you reckon to um, <laughs> my gorgeous Monique being a female gangster? Yeah? yeah. Thumbs up. Down for that. I absolutely think yeah, I could. I think yeah. I'd be good at that. What else would you like to play? If you if you could have any dream role, what 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 would it be? I'd love it, like a Sharon Stone basic instinct role. Would you? I'd great, love great that. Film, that, that. Yeah. Great film. I'd, I would. That would be <laughs> 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 Yeah, I would. Yeah. Something completely different to, yeah. to the norm. To the norm. Fantastic film. Building shows and yeah. building award shows. And yeah, I'd love that. Uh -huh. What would your dream role be? If you, could, if you could literally have any dream role, anything. Anything. Go. Probably be comedy. Oh, really? Yeah. Right, okay. Probably be comedy. <laughs> it makes me laugh every time, because it, it's probably it's comedy. Yeah. You're probably. just so, like... Not straight face. Straight face. <laughs> <laughs> probably comedy. Yeah. yeah That's would, not so <laughs> comical though, is yeah. it? Yeah. It would be something comical. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what, but yeah, it's got to be comedy. Yeah, I love, I I love comedy. I love the horror. I love comedy. Yeah. Planes, trains and automobiles and things like that. Oh, yeah. Steve mm. Martin and, and, you know, John Candy, you can't beat them, but it's just horror for me. I just... You love your horror, don't you? I love slashing people up. That sounds so bad, <laughs> doesn't it? It does. I realise yeah. that when you kill me. Just That's love awful. slashing people up. <laughs> you were enjoying it too much when you were killing me. Oh, it's so much fake blood. Yeah. And, um, yeah. yeah. But no, it, it's it's really... Have you done a horror? I haven't. You've never done a horror? No. So, so for the comedy side of, of things, comedy side of films, it's like Life of Brian and things yeah. like you, you're into your Monty Pythons and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, that's Faulty Towers, love. Things like that. wacky humour, mm. wacky humour. So that appeals to me. It's got that wacky side to me. See, although yeah. I get gangsters and detectives, and <laughs> I've got a wacky side. We need, we need to, do, we need to get you into um, a really big comedy, then. Mm. I reckon, yeah. Mm. I think because like, looking at you and the stance and the way you are and everything, it's Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> European <laughs> vacation, absolutely. You good. are Griswold. Camper van. <laughs> <you. laughs> Yeah. Let's film it. <laughs> Shall we just do it? Yeah. Let's just, yeah. Do yeah. It. Let's just do it today. Jump up on around Europe. Chevy Chase. <laughs> Cheers, man. Oh my, oh my days. Brilliant. Yeah. So where are we going next with you then? Um, what What would be, you know, if you you know the more books and everything, what what would be the the dream for for the writing side of things? 
Well, I'm, I'm planning on writing another book at the moment. Okay. I'm just going, I didn't have to do a sequel to that, but I'm, I'm changing my mind. I'm not doing a sequel. I'm uh, waiting to see how that does first, and then take it from there. But okay. I'm going to do another book, definitely. Okay. Yeah, I've got loads of ideas and loads of stories I've already wrote. Whether I expand one and try and get it published is another... But that's my idea at the moment, mm. so I'm thinking... Get more into it, right? Still do a bit of acting. Okay. Yeah. Still like me acting. Still do a bit here and there, but I think get more into it, writing. Mm. Wait, me heroes are like Paul Abbott, who wrote Shameless. Yeah. He's a Burnley lad. Met Paul about 35 years ago. All right. When we were both drunk. <laughs> so he was just getting into Coronation Street then, then he did Cracker. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. Then he did uh, Shameless. So he's well, one I mean, Shameless went absolutely wow. insane, yeah, didn't it? He's one of my heroes. And Jeff Pope, who's a writer. Mm. Uh, Chris Lunt, who wrote Prey, he's a local lad. So would that, would, would that be something that you'd actually maybe, maybe write something, a book, and then turn it into, like, the TV series, would yeah. that, you know, like they did? Yeah, that'd be brilliant. Like Jimmy McGovern, I mean, look at what he Jimmy created. Jimmy McGovern's another one. There's loads of them. Top, top writers. Mm -hmm. Had a yeah. fantastic career. Jonathan Harvey. Look yeah. at what he created. Yeah. Gimme, gimme, gimme. But he did it off the back of, you know, he was doing Coronation Street, then wrote yeah. Beautiful Thing. I yeah. mean... You know the the story of Steve and Jamie yeah. with Linda Henry playing the mother, yeah. and then Gimme Gimme Gimme. Yeah. He, he he's like that was I'm, brilliant. Gimme Gimme Gimme, wasn't it? Oh, what what Jonathan creates is mm. just unreal. It yeah. really is. So if you could go down that route, that's it. I mean, these um, guys are my heroes. They're like mm. comedy writers as well. And yeah, just yeah. fantastic. So you write go comedy as well? Well, yeah, I write comedy. Yeah, I wrote, like I said, the comedy western. Yeah, you did say. Couple, yeah. And, yeah. So how long did it take you to write this book? From start to finish? Um, out of our pencil, took me probably about a year and a half. Wow, gosh. Yeah. Yeah. And putting it down, writing it down, to typing it. Yeah. To reading it, finding mistakes in mm -hmm. it and correcting it. And, you know, I had to Google the place and then I knew it because of Vegas, Nevada. It goes into America. Right. So I don't know what I was talking about. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's about, say, about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. And then she gave me a wife to read to test it out on her. And she didn't, she didn't laugh when she should have laughed. I'm like, well, right. <laughs> <laughs> so I was me test her. So you've been to Vegas, have you travelled? Yeah, I've like been to Vegas five times, yeah. What a place. Yeah, that's great. One of the best Love places it. I think I've ever been. I haven't, I'm due to go next year, possibly. Toying between Vegas and Bali. I know oh. it's two completely different places. Mm -hmm. Okay. But yeah. <clears throat> it's just, I've heard Vegas is amazing. It's incredible. Yeah. It's one of the best places I've ever been to. The Mob Museum, if you go. The what, Mob Museum? Mob Museum. Oh, Mob Museum. Yeah. What's there? It's all gangster. <laughs> there you go! <laughs> it's all gangster stuff. There you go! Are you sure you always need comic It's all about mafia in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> she'll, she'll come out head to toe. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look like that. Look like that. Look like Dress like that. Dress, yeah. Exactly the same, will I? Yeah. You'll get him free. Yeah. <laughs> I'm unique. I'm going to get him free. Oh, yes. I like that. Oh, very good. I'm yeah. Doing it. yeah. That's just what you'd be called. Yeah. It's down Fremont Street. If you go down Fremont Street, which is great, you have to go to Fremont Street. Yeah. It's just at the back of there, Mom Museum. Mm -hmm. And did you go to the where all the old signs are and all the old movie signs and everything? No. The museum. No, that's that's a similar area, but we didn't get that. Mm. The, the, all the old everything from all the old movies, like Beetlejuice and all <laughs> stuff like that, and all all these huge iconic movies, all the everything that's the, that's made and left over, so it all goes into this museum yeah. in Vegas, doesn't it? Yeah. And it's just mind blowing. Wow. Mm. But you, you, th you, I mean, you think a museum? It's like the size mm. of like ten football fields, yeah. isn't it? Which all is. outside, yeah. and it's everywhere you look. There's something from different movies. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Did you get? So you didn't get that? I didn't get that. Oh, that's no. a shame. The thing is with Vegas, you've got to do it. You've got to do like a bucket list because it's so yeah. much to see. Yeah. So what you want to see, you mm. just got to, and then tick them off. Yeah. There's so much to do. Apart from the strip, a lot, you know, yeah, course, strip's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, yeah. But you get outside of Vegas, you know, Fremont, which is the original strip. Fremont. Oh, the, yeah, with the, the, the cowboy waving. That's it. That's yeah. the original strip. That's at the bottom of Vegas. Yeah. You'll have to go there. Went down there. And the beer really, cheaper as well. So it was, that's another it was bonus. really funny because when I, when I was out in, in Vegas, we, we did this, this thing out into the desert, and um, the, the guide literally said to us, Okay, so when we went out into the desert, the guy literally said to us, walk in one direction, mm -hmm. turn around and walk back exactly the same way. Okay. So don't, don't be thinking, oh, there's a cactus over there. 
walk that way. Oh, there's a thing of rocks over there, walk that way. Because you will get lost. You'll get so disorientated. Yeah. He went, walk in one direction, turn around and walk back the same way. That, that scared me a little oh, it's bit. It's an incredible place, isn't it? It's so big. My friends who live out there and they could go and mine their mountains. Really? Because wow. uh, I keep saying I'll go over and mm. spend a few weeks going mining. Do it. It's grow me beard and grow me hair. <laughs> yeah. It's a wild side to Do me. It. Ride on a horse. Yeah. Like Clinties would roll to into town. I'm <laughs> <laughs> coming to town on a donkey. <laughs> my hat on, turned up at the front. I've just got this vision of you walk, walking into this saloon bar with like a big piece of straw, kicking the gates open as they swing, you know, <laughs> the barn doors. I'll do partner. <laughs> there we go, another movie part, See? just like that for you. Gold digging in Vegas, we're all going to go over. Could even call it that, gold, gold digging, digging in, in Vegas. Vegas. Yeah. Got this one, she can but do But I'd be the gold digger. <laughs> 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 Yeah, looking for the rich men, not cold digging. Yeah, absolutely. We all do it around digging. mountains. Like, like you said, Nevada is full of mountains, isn't yep, it? Yeah, it is. Fantastic place. Yeah. Into the Grand Canyon, it's, it's mm. unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. There's a nice bar, right? It mountains are all called Pioneer Saloon. Mm. You spent far too much time out there. Gosh, you yeah. are selling it to me. I think it might be Vegas next year, actually, now. <laughs> yeah, bar is yeah. always Pioneer done, Saloon, yeah. fantastic. Because all I ever hear about is like, the gambling and all that kind of stuff. Oh, no, 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 this no, no. sounds brilliant. No. Well, not. there's more to do than gambling. Yeah. A lot more to do. I'll have to look into that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, all right. <laughs> do it. So, any more, you know, if people want to get in touch with you and stuff like that, then, um, you know, how, how can they Facebook, find... Twitter, mm. uh, Instagram. Oh, you're on Instagram as well? Lovely. Not so much Instagram, more Twitter, Facebook. Yeah. Okay. But I am on Instagram, but not, not much. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So if you need to get in touch with me, just find me on Twitter mainly. Mm -hmm. And any more movies coming up? What, anything uh, coming up in the, that you can talk about at the moment? Not really, no. There's uh, a couple I'll put in for that I don't know if I've got yet, mm -hmm. so I can't mention them. I've won next Saturday, which I can't... Sorry, Dave Bannister, I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> <laughs> We come in next Saturday. The name just escapes me. It's it's just something that you do. Yeah, I'm playing a detective in it. So. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh well, there you go so, then. Bless you. That's a short film. So. Mm. Well, it's it's just been absolutely amazing to 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 have you on. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you. I've loved being it. being with us. Like I said, this just. Do you want a copy as well? Yes, please. You're going to have to sign one, a isn't you? Sign a copy, yes. yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. So, if you do want to find anything else out about our lovely Graham Parrington, then just go on to all of his social media handles and things like that and um, send him some messages. The wives won't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute pleasure. Thank you so much nice for to coming on to our show. Thank you, you very welcome. much. Yeah. Always, always welcome. Thank okay, you. You take Thanks care of yourself. So yeah, Murder by Pencil, available now. Find it on Amazon by the legend that is Graham Parrington. And Monique and I will see you very soon for more Creatives on the Couch. Take care of yourselves.